proud of myself right now because I put some effort into decorating. Right, Charlie? This is Charlie. I'm a terrible decorator. I'm indecisive. I can never figure out what I want to do. And by the time I do figure out, and maybe by the time I've gotten enough inspiration and I'm motivated, the time has passed. So I'm always like, next year, we will do this next year. We will try again, fresh. We'll do it ahead of time, in advance. Yeah, but this year I've been watching some YouTube channels and they've really motivated me to do my own decorating. I will link the main one below that I've watched and I think there was another one I can't remember. Let me just show you what I did. Sadly, this is a library book, so we won't be able to keep it. Here's some of the candy the kids tried. I don't even know why we're keeping it out here, but hey, whatever. This is Hobby Lobby, and it was broken. I don't know where it was broken, but I had to have it, so we got it, like, over the summer. I got these at Tuesday morning. I don't know what the heck. What are they doing? This isn't even... It's not. That's what happens when you let kids decorate with you. These all have remotes and I haven't pulled the tab out yet so I was gonna wait until tonight to try that out. But that's that whole setup. Oh, if you've seen some of my other videos you'll notice there used to be a lamp. It looks like that one over there in the corner. We were all dancing around in here and the light bulb fell out so I took that as a sign. I got these at the Dollar Tree. They're spooky flowers with eyes, spiders, and more eyeballs. This thing with a pop of orange. And I put, I think these are, I don't know, they're not heavy balls. They're more like foam, probably, uh, coated in glitter. but. Uh, it kind of goes, you know, with the orange right there. I think. The kids agreed. I should use that as the filler for the vase. Vase and the flowers and the filler was all at the Dollar Tree. Five dollars for this bouquet of spooky. These were super cute. I had to get these. Because I'm not sure if she had these in her video or not, but I really liked them. And there's a white one. Right here. I'm really digging white pumpkins this year. These I got at Lidl. They're actually planters and there's two different sizes. I decided to put a candle in one and this I got at the Dollar Tree and I thought it was really cute. So I'm gonna just point that up. You always wanna hang up. This is just, I don't know. It was. We're just gonna say good for your efforts. I added these up here because I didn't know what else to do here. This we were gonna use for truck or treating, but I don't think we're doing that anymore. And I don't know, maybe we'll donate the candy and this bin for that. This is part of Sid's costume. She's gonna be Dorothy and Raider is gonna ride inside. I took down my spring decor thing that was here and I added the cauldron on top which she's just going to take that down and use it for trick or treating anyway so I really don't know what to do here. This is a cool space. I cleaned off the table, I added some of this creepy cloth and the skull that we got at Target. Oh gosh I forgot to cut the tag off but we'll just pretend he's whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch out! Shh. Right here. Shh. This witch is really cool. I got this at a thrift shop. Let me show you what she can do. Turn her, let's turn her eyes on. Hang on. You have to press it down. So, oh, she's moving her hands. Okay, that's new. Yep. That. She closed her eyes. She, yeah. she turns her eyes green. 
Okay, yeah, she is pretty creepy. Yeah, officially creeped out. I think I paid like six bucks for her. Let's turn her off. I also hung some more of that decorative spooky cloth on my mail spot. By the way, if you ever want to send me mail, I put my mail here. And maybe you'll, I don't know, see it one day. This space, I didn't really do a whole lot with. It's not supposed to be there. Neither is this. This is a really cool cauldron that I got at Target. I was going to put candy in here, but I'm just not really sure. This I'm going to leave up all the way until after Thanksgiving. It's just, it smells really nice. I got it at Hobby Lobby as one of those bags with like potpourri stuff. It was a nice touch. This was also one of those thrift shop finds. I think I paid three. It was a dollar. And the candle inside is one of those oversized tea lights. I got these towels. I think I got them at, actually I can't remember where I got them, but they're really cute. Aldi, maybe? I'm not quite sure what to do exactly. I just kind of put some stuff here. Well, this doesn't belong. But anyway, I got these at Lidl. And this I got at the thrift shop. I can't remember how much I paid for it though. I don't remember. But it was really cute, and so I had to have it. My, my BFF sent me these beautiful flowers, and I realized pretty quickly that they need a lot of water, so I water them every day. This thing was three bucks. And I forgot to cut the tag off, but I think that What's it called? What's it called? It probably belongs somewhere else. It's like, it's, it's sound, I did, I did. It sounds like metal, it probably is, but it doesn't feel heavy like metal. So I gotta move this, I'm gonna move it into the living room probably. I got these pumpkins, I'm gonna put new batteries in them, but I think I got them at Big Lots. Maybe. I got two of them. I just, like I said, kind of threw this together. This is actually a candy dish. I haven't had time to clean it. Oh, it's not a candy dish. This is like a sugar bowl. Isn't it cute? And it's black. Focus, good camera. And it's black. Look at that. So there's a lip. Put a spoon in there. It's probably for your sugar. But. We're just going to pretend we didn't see that and that this is actually going to be a little pumpkin that's just here. The hubby said this was really ugly, but it was for four bucks from Target. I think it looks cute and it could be here for every season all year round. I'm in love with this frame. I realize that there is no picture here because it takes me a while to get a picture into a frame. But we're working really hard to get a picture into this frame because it is so cute. Look at that galvanized pattern. I love it. I did not pay 25 bucks for this. I just know that everything was 50% off. Here is the other area that I decorated. I'm really proud of this space right here. It's like this horizontal space. I don't have much in this house, but when I do, I really go for it. I tell you what, really went for it here. Except, you know, the randomness. This is my tray that I use for parties. I usually put condiments in here and up here, but it is serving a new decorative purpose for right now. All of these pieces were from thrift shops. Except for this, this was this was Hobby Lobby for 80 cents, I think. This was the Target dollar section, so a dollar. 
this candle holder was from a thrift shop. Um, oh, I've had this. It needs a candle now because it's out. Oh, and move that there. That looks good there. I don't want to hide my white pumpkin. Don't want to do that. Here's the white pumpkin. 50 cents. Thrift shop. These filler pumpkins were all from Hobby Lobby. Very inexpensive. I wish I could remember how much they were. I got two different bags. Actually, this is all one bag. Here's another pumpkin from a thrift shop. Uh, $1. So cute. This witch was also from a thrift shop and you can put a tea light inside 50 cents I'm telling you what I scored big there this is a candle oh that's what I get for looking through the camera I'm not actually focusing. okay so it was previously lit but it's a really cute white pumpkin I'm digging white this year and for the spookiest thing that I bought for decoration this year Hold on to your pants, guys, because this is spooky. I want to call her Hilda. Hilda the Witch. She doesn't do anything, but she looks really cool. And she's actually facing the wrong direction. There you go. There. And she just sits on the bench, and then when you first walk in, she's there, hanging out. Just being creepy, huh? I think I paid eight bucks for her as well, but she doesn't do anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed my decoration, my decor run-through. What do you call it? I guess a haul, plus all the decorations I put up, plus me being festive, or making my best attempt at being festive. Yeah, one last thing. Trick or treat. Oh, hi guys. Um, we, we are cleaning our room and um, but it's like a mess right now. I think she's trying to um, ouch. Then hurts in the back. Um, you can barely see the floor. Yeah, it's like you can't even see the floor. Our room is where pigs live.